is from Ali from Islamabad, Pakistan. If a virgin man had sex with a virgin girl before marriage and afterwards he got married to that girl, both have generally repented. Is that nikah valid? How should they repent to Allah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 26, that impure women are for impure men. Impure men are for impure women. Pure men are for pure, uh -huh. pure women are for pure men, and pure men are for pure women. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala further also says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 3. As, as to the one, as to a man who has committed zina, adultery or fornication, he should, he should marry a woman who has committed zina, fornication or adultery or a mushrika means a person who has committed zina adultery or fornication he should not marry but a woman who has committed zina fornication or adultery or a mushrika and the verse continues for a woman who has committed fornication or adultery zina she should not but marry a man who has committed zina fornication or adultery or Abu Shirk. For the believer, this is prohibited and will get a great punishment. Based on this verse of the Quran, all the fuqahs they say it is not permitted for a Muslim man who has it is not permitted for a Muslim man to marry a woman who has done zina. Neither it is permitted for a Muslim to marry a man who has done zina. It is prohibited. And if someone has done zina, a Muslim man or woman has done zina, he or she should repent. Only after they repent can someone marry them. So if a man wants to marry a woman who has done zina, until that woman repents, he cannot marry her. And this question was asked to Sheikh Ibn Uthaymi that can a person and a similar question was asked that can a person can a Muslim marry a woman who has done zina or can a woman marry a man who has done zina or can both who have done zina marry each other. So Sheikh Uthaymi said that a Muslim cannot marry a woman who has done zina until she repents. After she repents he can marry her. Similarly, a Muslim ma, a Muslim woman cannot marry a man who has done zina until he repents. If a man marries a woman who has not repented and marries her, then he is also doing zina. According to the verse of the Quran of Surah Nur, chapter 24, verse number 3. If a Muslim marries a woman who has committed zina and if she has not repented and if he marries her, even he is committing zina. And if he says that it's not required, for the woman to repent, he doesn't mind marrying her, then it is he is a mushrik. Based on the same verse of the Quran of Surah Nur chapter 24 verse number 3, where the Quran says a, a man who has committed zina should marry a woman who has committed zina or a mushrika. So if he insists that it is not required, then he becomes a mushrik. So in this case, where your question is that there is a boy and a girl, both of them were virgin and both did zina with each other. They repented and they got married. Is the nikah valid? If the couple married and then they repented, then the nikah is not valid. If they repented first, both of them repented that what they have done is a major sin. Zina, according to Imam Abdhabi, it is the twelfth major sin in Islam. If both of them repented and then if they married, then the nikah is valid. If they married and then they repented my advice to them would be if they have repented good they should repent more agree what they have done is wrong 
they should see to it they should not do it again and then they should marry again so if they repented after marriage they should marry again then it's valid if they marry without repenting then it would be considered that they are yet into an unlawful relationship it would be haram so if they have repented before marriage then it's fine the marriage is valid otherwise they have to repent and then get married hope that answers the question